After you have installed Coolify, you will be accessing it from the server IP with port 8000 like this. Accessing the dashboard like this is not secure because the connection is not encrypted. To secure this connection, we have to set up a reverse proxy, and Coolify comes with two proxies built in, which is Traffic and Caddy. The Coolify team recommends to use Traffic, and I also recommend the same. If you go to the proxy page on the dashboard, you will see Traffic, because by default Coolify uses Traffic as the Coolify proxy. The proxy starts automatically, so you most likely see the proxy is running here. But if this says proxy is stopped, then you will see a button here called Start Proxy. Click on the button and wait for the proxy to start. It will take less than 10 seconds for the proxy to start. Once the proxy is running, copy your server IP address, which is this one, and create a DNS record to point your domain to this IP address. I use Cloudflare to manage my DNS. So I will go to my Cloudflare dashboard and add a new A-type record that points to my server IP where Coolify is running. These steps are same for other DNS providers, so you can follow along with this video. If you want to use a specific subdomain to access the dashboard, then you have to enter it here. I generally just enter a asterisk here, so this will create a wildcard record, which means I can use any subdomain on Coolify without having to add new A record for each subdomain I want to use. If you are using Cloudflare, don't enable this orange cloud for now, because Coolify uses Let's Encrypt to get a SSL certificate, which won't work if you enable this orange cloud. There are workaround for this, but for now you can leave it as turned off. A quick note though, I am entering a local IP for my DNS record here, and this won't work for you, because I have a completely different setup to simulate a real production setup that works without a DNS record like this. So you should enter your server's real public IP address for the DNS record. Once you have added the A record, go back to the Coolify dashboard and go to the settings page. Here you will have a field called instance domain. You have to enter the domain you want to access the dashboard on. I will enter coolify.aeroflare.cloud. You can enter any subdomain here, but most people uses Coolify as subdomain for the dashboard. Make sure to enter the protocol as HTTPS here, then click on save button. Now, if you visit this domain, you should be able to see the Coolify login page on your domain without any warnings. If you don't see this page, then first check if you have any firewall enabled. If you do have a firewall, then make sure to allow port 80 and 443 on the firewall. Port 80 is needed for Let's Encrypt to generate SSL certificates, and port 443 is needed for Coolify to serve the HTTPS requests. Right now, you can access the dashboard from your own domain and by using the server IP address with port 8000. Leaving the port 8000 open is not a good idea, so make sure to block port 8000 on your firewall. Since you are accessing the dashboard from your domain, you just have to keep port 80, port 443, and 22 for Coolify to work. Port 22 is for SSH access for you to access the server. If you use different port for SSH, then make sure to allow that port instead of 22. For any reason, if you are not able to access the Coolify dashboard using your domain, then you can allow port 8000 on your firewall and access the dashboard by using the server IP with port 8000. That's it for this video. Let me know which topic I should cover next in the comments below.